it's helpful to understand how hackers gain access to bank accounts. Here are several methods that hackers might access your savings and wipe them. Welcome to the CS Exams channel. We post less than 5 minutes videos on cybersecurity. Please motivate us by liking this video and subscribing to our channel. We appreciate it and are thankful to you for this. Users of mobile and internet banking are growing exponentially. With this, the opportunities for hackers to steal money are also increasing. Here are five ways how hackers target your bank account and how to stay safe. 1. Use of mobile banking Trojans applications. With the banking apps on your smartphone, you can manage all of your finances. While it is useful, malware makers have used it as the primary attack vector. A virus producer makes an exact copy of a bank's software and distributes it through third-party websites. You enter your username and password into the software after downloading it, which is subsequently delivered to the hacker. Mobile banking trojans are the more cunning form. These aren't normally disguised as a bank's official app, instead, they're a completely unrelated program that contains a trojan. When you install this app, the Trojan starts looking for financial apps on your phone. When the malware detects a user starting a banking program, it pops up a window that looks exactly like the app you just started. If done correctly, the user will not notice the change and will enter their credentials into the phony login page. The malware creator then receives these details. To gain access to your account, these Trojans usually require an SMS verification number. To accomplish this, they frequently request SMS reading access throughout the installation, allowing them to grab the codes as they arrive. Banking Trojans Prevention Never install banking apps from third-party sites, as they're more likely to contain malware. While official app stores are by no means perfect, they're a lot safer than a random website on the internet. 2. Phishing Hackers have increased their efforts to deceive users into clicking their links as the public becomes more aware of phishing tactics. Hacking solicitors' email accounts and sending phishing emails from a previously trusted address is one of their nastiest methods. The difficulty in detecting the scam is what makes this attack so devastating. The email address would be genuine, and the hacker might address you by your first name. This is exactly how an unlucky home buyer wasted £67,000 despite responding to a previously legitimate email address. Stay protected from phishing. If the email address appears to be known, but something about it seems off, see if you can verify the email with the sender. But not over email, in case the account has been compromised by hackers. 3. Keyloggers Keyloggers are a type of malware that records what you're typing and sends the information back to the hacker. That might sound inconspicuous at first. But imagine what would happen if you typed in your bank's web address, followed by your username and password. The hacker would have all the information they need to break into your account. Protection from Keyloggers Install a good antivirus and make sure it scans your machine on a regular basis. A decent antivirus program will detect a keylogger and remove it before it can cause any harm. Make sure to set up two-factor authentication if your bank offers it. Even if a hacker has your login information, they won't be able to recreate the authentication code, making a keylogger ineffective. 4. Man-in-the-middle attacks A hacker may target your communications with your bank's website in order to obtain your personal information. Man in the middle, MITM, is what it is termed. When a hacker intercepts communications between you and a legitimate provider, this is known as eavesdropping. A minimum attack usually entails watching an unsecured server and analyzing the data it sends and receives. When you communicate your login credentials across this network, hackers can sniff them out and steal them. When you enter a URL, a hacker may employ DNS cache poisoning to modify the site you visit. Because of the tainted DNS cache, your bank's website will redirect to a hacker's clone site. 
This cloned sight will appear to be the actual thing, and if you're not careful, you'll end up providing the false sight with your login information. Protecting from MITM attacks Never perform any sensitive activities on a public or unsecured network. When you log into a sensitive site, always check for HTTPS in the address bar. You can also use a VPN for better privacy. 5. SIM Swapping Hackers have a lot of trouble due to SMS authentication codes. To get around this, SIM swapping is used. To accomplish a SIM swap, a hacker impersonates you and contacts your mobile company. They claim to have misplaced their phone and would like their old number, which is your current number, transferred to their SIM card. If they succeed, the network operator will remove your phone number from your SIM and replace it with the hackers. They may simply get the SMS codes once they have your phone number on your SIM card. SIM Swapping Prevention Mobile companies typically ask questions to check if the person requesting the transfer is who they say they are. As such, to perform a SIM swap, scammers typically harvest your personal information to pass the checks. Always keep your personal details private to avoid someone stealing your identity. Also, it's worth checking if your mobile provider is doing their part to defend you from SIM swapping. Summary Internet banking is convenient for both customers and hackers alike. Thankfully, you can do your part to ensure you're not a victim of these attacks. By keeping your details safe, you'll give hackers very little to work with when they take aim at your savings. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe our channel. Visit csexams.com for many free cybersecurity certifications, practice tests.